Let's kick her on! Yeah. Real fight starts now. rely on is fleeting. They will all be turned to dust. Anyone tries to hurt my friends. It's gonna be! This is the true power. Autonomous. Ultra. Instinct. Okay, so be that as it may, can you imagine if something like this happened? We have the fusion of Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and Angelic Ultra Instinct Moro73 having to battle against Beast Gohan and Ultra Eagle Vegeta. And not for nothing, as I'm trying my best to handicap these two, I had an idea on potentially creating a hypothetical story involving such a concept like this because one could only imagine as to what things would have ultimately had been like if somehow, in some way, Moro got his hands on the Potara earrings, right? Which from there had led him into clipping one of them on Goku's ear and merging together and becoming one. Let me know down below as to how powerful you guys believe a fusion like this would be and what I also want to know given the fact that it's basically the end of 2022 is do you guys think that we should create a one-off story involving such a character and I guess that to match him we'll have him either fight Beerus or maybe even Ultra Eagle Vegeta you know stuff like that so let me know down below because this was a story that I was considering especially after creating this mod slash character and I had a little bit of an idea to introduce such a fusion in a one-off story but more importantly than anything else I wanted you guys to let me know if you guys wanted to see this or not to where more specifically if you guys want to go in ahead and download this character for yourselves then you guys can head on over to my patreon patreon.com slash unreal and gaming to where on there you guys will be able to not only download this specific fusion but all of the fusions that I've been showcasing on the channel within the last year and essentially any other character that I end up introducing because what I wanted to also discuss with you guys right now is what I kind of have planned going into the new year which not for nothing this is really irritating me right now because it would seem as though every single time I'm trying to attack one of them like the other gets in the way to try to stop me you know what I mean which make no mistake about it I definitely believe that Moro and Goku's fusion would far exceed that of Ultra Eagle Vegeta and even Beast Gohan because we're taking the powers of two Ultra Instinct wielders and we're merging them into one not to mention that this specific fusion would have the ability to also copy our heroes, right? So what I had planned going into 2023 was I wanted to also kind of go all the way back to my older fan mangas and retell and remaster a lot of those stories. So if there's any other particular story that you guys want me to recreate or kind of restructure a bit differently, then drop your suggestions down below. This is insane. I'm trying my best to survive this and I think that I am getting beaten up right now pretty bad and I'm not even sure as to who's doing the most damage. It's probably Gohan. So either way, also on top of this, if there's any other additional fusion that you guys want to see us create, then drop your fusion suggestions down in the comment section below. It could be essentially any character, I guess any villain, any hero from any verse and we're going to try to do our best to put them together. So, oh boy, looks like Gohan's the last one here. Hold on, Vegeta's down. If I can actually execute my godly display to the best of my abilities and he's finally done. Thank goodness, man. Jeez, man, that was a really, really tough battle, not for nothing. So with that being said, we have more to discuss and I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of a preview as to what I have coming next year as well in terms of fan manga. So with that being said, let's now go on ahead and jump into the second fight to see if our merged Ultra Instinct Warrior here can get the job done. Okay, see, now this one is going to be interesting because now we're going to be battling against two of the mightiest warriors ever introduced within Dragon Ball Super, that being, of course, Broly and Jiren, which can you imagine how dangerous a duo such as Jiren and Broly would be if they were fighting on the same side? Like, you know what I mean? To where not for nothing, I also want to go in ahead and let you guys know about the following. So in 2023, what I am going to do is I am currently planning on introducing a Granola versus Jiren fan manga, as of course you guys can see right here. This, of course, is Curtis 
courtesy to all of the Patreon members that wanted to see a story like this be adapted and I said to myself, okay, so why not have a story be introduced to where Jiren finds out in Universe 11 that there was a person that had all of a sudden become the strongest in Universe 7 and so when Jiren ends up going there, he ends up encountering Granola and there's going to be a little bit of a twist to all of this which I don't want to give away too much as to what kind of basically happens in this story here but nevertheless, I can't seem to do anything against these two because I just think right now, bar none, these two are a lot more difficult to deal with than both Gohan and Vegeta because no matter what it is that I try to do against one, the other is right there to stop me. And I think a union like this would be kind of similar if Broly was in trouble, Jiren would step in, or vice versa, if Jiren were to be in trouble, Broly would step in. So I might actually even go as far as to go back to redo and kind of restructure my older Jiren vs. Bully fan manga, so if that is something you guys want to see, then let me know. And more specifically, again, if there's any type of fusion, hell, maybe even involving maybe even involving both Broly and Jiren right now, if you guys want to see us merge them together, then let us know down in the comment section below. As again, I also want to say thank you all so much for all of the support that we've been getting, more or less in particular as of late, which I've also seen comments about, well, in the top five strongest story, are we going to see Budo shapeshift and manifest himself into X, Y, and Z? And I'm kind of going to give you guys a little bit of an idea as to what Budo is going to shapeshift into once of course he ends up fighting Goku and Budo is going to end up shape-shifting into different fighters, different incarnations of fighters and to give you guys two examples, Budo is going to shape-shift into both God of Destruction Goku from an alternate timeline and he's going to shape-shift into Moro and Broly's hypothetical fusion. That is as far as I'm going to go into kind of shedding light as to what is going to transpire involving Goku and Budo and that's why Goku's journey now is to essentially train as much with Whis as possible for Whis to just throw all of these obstacles at Goku in order for Goku to overcome so trust me all of this is going to serve a big purpose down the line. So we're not for nothing I think right now one of the biggest purposes that I should be serving is to wipe these two out but I can't seem to be doing anything and if this is going to be how we're going to be closing off 2022 then man this is just disastrous because again i'm trying to do the best of my ability that i can to just put these guys out and it just seems like it's not working like they're literally in my face and no matter what it is that i'm trying to do granted that this mod is fairly powerful these two are just on my tail you know what i mean but even then i think that right now i'm doing a very good job in holding myself together only because i think that by now if i were to use i guess any other mod then I would have probably have gone down by now, but even then I'm holding my own. And some of y'all might, you know, disagree to say, you know what, if Broly and Jiren ended up working together, then there's no chance that a fusion such as Moro and Goku would win. And mind you, I'm talking about working together and not fusing. If Broly and Jiren fused, I definitely think that'd be a very different conversation that would be held there. But even then, when going back to the original topic that I just discussed in the previous fight with Gohan and Vegeta, if you think that we should create a fan manga story involving the hypothetical concept of Ultra Instinct Moro and Ultra Instinct Goku fusing, then who should fight him? Should it possibly even be the fusion slash merger of Broly and Jiren, just like we've done with Goro and Gronoku early on in October? So again, let me know down below because not for nothing, these, these characters, I mean, they're catching the hands and they're helping each other. And I right now am trying to do whatever I can. Okay, so Jiren's down, Broly's next. I want to see if this is going to work because if this fails, then I don't know what else to do. All right, so... That spells the end of Broly and Jiren. Finally, that was actually really, really difficult. So with that being said, let's now go on ahead and jump into the next fight that we have coming up ahead because I have a few animation ideas that I want to share with you all. So before jumping into the next fight, here's a little bit of a preview of some of the animations that I want to go on ahead and introduce on the channel going into 2023. Check it out. I was careless. Huh? Yes. 
Okay, now come on, tell me that wasn't absolutely insane. So now we're gonna be battling against Orange Piccolo and Angel Maris. Now here's the thing, right? So when going into the middle of 2022, if you guys haven't already seen, we've constructed several different Orange Piccolo stories, including Orange Piccolo versus Goku, Orange Piccolo versus Beast Gohan, and I was actually considering on doing another story involving Orange Piccolo in 2023, maybe against Granola, maybe against Moro, and even more specifically with Maris, because I wanted to create a story that was kind of centric around Maris, maybe even have him train or do something with Granola, maybe even do something where Maris ends up training with Broly, stuff like that. So I want you guys to let me know down below if we should actually incorporate and do stories that center around other characters such as Angel Maris and of course Orange Piccolo. And even when it comes down to fan animations like the one you guys just saw, let me know down below as to what kind of fan animations you guys want to see because I was considering on doing a sprite animation to where Moro ends up defeating all of our heroes, that's number one, and number two, I also wanted to adapt and create another sprite animation that was kind of centered around Gas versus Moro, or maybe even having Moro versus Granola, so again, let me know down below as to what it is that you guys want to see between those two, or if you guys want to see both, then let us know because we are also going to be putting other animations into production such as creating possibly maybe an animation involving Perhaps Ultra Instant Goku versus Ultra Eagle Vegeta through the form of SFM, which of course is Source Filmmaker, and I think that that would be pretty cool, considering of course you guys have seen many other stories that we've done involving Goku and, you know, our heroes like Vegeta for SFM, you know what I mean? So I think that would work pretty cool, but I think right now, what's more important is that I win this fight, because I know for an absolute fact that Maris is probably the stronger of the two when it comes down to health because i think that this version of orange piccolo for this mod he's probably a bit underutilized when it comes down to his stats so he is a lot weaker but i think that maris might have the most health so he might be the most difficult one to take down which i think right now shouldn't be too much of a problem considering how not for nothing i think that this fusion would be able to take angel maris down and remember angel maris is a rookie so Rookie angels cannot be compared to their angel siblings, which are attendees, which, of course, uphold a higher structural power than, of course, the rookies, but even then, I think I digress only because I'm trying to hyper-focus to win this fight, and I'm trying to see if I can take down Piccolo first, because I know that Piccolo is probably going to... Oh, wait, okay, wait, he is down. Okay, great. So, this is my one and only chance to put Maris down by using my godly display. Here we go, combining the greater sum of the two into creating the ultimate power of one. Maris is alive, that's not good. Let me try this one more time because I think it's basically over after this. I hit this dude so hard that even his hair just changed, so let me see if I can. Yeah, it's done, finally. That was, that was a lot tougher than I expected for the fight to be because Maris was in the background just blasting me and whatnot. So, with that being said, let's now go ahead and jump into the next fight because I wanted to encompass and create more stories going into 2023 involving this next specific character, which of course he is on the thumbnail, so you guys can let me know down below if it's a yay or a nay in your book. Okay, so check this out. I think that in a one-on-one -on -one fight, there's no way that Ultra Eagle Vegeta would be able to match a fusion like this. However, I will say this though. So for the story of the top five strongest in the multiverse, I am going to be giving Vegeta his own mastered variation of his Ultra Ego form that is taken to a completely different level after, of course, he ends up training with Beerus. I don't want to give away too much, but he is going to have a similar adaptation to Super Saiyan 4, or at least from the aesthetic look, he isn't really going to be a Super Saiyan 4, but you guys are going to have to wait and see how this unfolds, because Goku's going to be going down his own path while Vegeta is going down his, so of course that diversifies both characters in making them different, all the while with Frieza and Cooler doing their own thing, they're going to be developing on their own accord, so I think that you guys are going to be genuinely pleased with what we end up doing with Vegeta's character, but what I also want to know is if there's any other centered story that you guys want us to create involving Ultra Eagle Vegeta, then let us know down below because similar to what we did 
with Ultra Eagle Vegeta versus Mastered Ultra Instinct Moro. I'm kind of looking to do the same thing here with other kind of concepts and ideas. Of course, I have many, many projects lined up in the pipeline, but more or less, I want to know from you as to kind of what you guys would want to see more than anything else. And I guess whatever is upvoted most on the channel is going to be what we're going to be focusing on. And this is really going to be difficult because I know that this version of Ultra Eagle Vegeta for this mod, he's really, really, really strong. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat him on my own accord. If I end up beating him, that's going to be a shock because I know if this dude ends up using the nullification of Hakai, I'm basically cooked. So it's pretty much do or die right now, unless of course I am able to... Okay, so that absolutely did nothing. But like I mentioned earlier, you guys can expect to see more Ultra Eagle Vegeta stories in 2023. I would argue to dare say specifically with Vegeta's new form that I'm going to be introducing in the story of the top five strongest. Hopefully enough, I'm able to put him down now. And I'm really excited to see what other mods we can end up creating because the possibilities are seemingly endless with so many of the character options that we have. If I end up dying here, this would be a detriment. I'm telling you all right now, this would be a detriment. But either way, with that being said, next year, I have more Ultra Ego Vegeta stories coming, including showcasing his brand new form that he will be getting in the story of the top five strongest after he ends up attending this god summit that Beerus had talked about, which I don't really want to go too far in into spoiling you guys. Of course, if you guys want to find out for yourselves, then be sure to head on over to my Patreon. As I've mentioned before, patreon.com slash Gaming. On there, I'm going to be giving all of my members all of the exclusive looks first, which on top of that, you guys can only imagine what other things we have cooking up, including more of the manga animations that we've been doing for shorts. I'm going to be doing that for some of my older videos as well. This is chaotic. Honestly, I think... I'm about to suffer my first L, and like I've mentioned before, I think that Morku, because I think that's what his name would be, Morku would definitely be stronger, I would say, than everybody, including, I think, Angelic Maris, Ultra Ego Vegeta, of course, Beast Gohan. I'm not sure if you guys want to count Beerus or not, but I would dare say and argue that, yeah, this fusion would be stronger, so I don't know, just let me know. He's not going down. I'm telling you all right now, either he's going to die or... I'm going to die because you can see all the scratches on my body and stuff. Oh, we got him. Holy crap. I really thought that this was going to be the end for me. So this was the ultimate merger, the ultimate combination of merging together two Ultra Instinct wielders into one. This has been Morku. Thank you all so much for watching, everybody. Thank you all so much for your time. To where, as always, if you guys enjoyed and cannot wait for more content on the channel, then be sure to scroll on down below and give this video a big fat thumbs up right now by smashing that like button. Also, if you guys are new, be sure to also smash that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. All those links will be located down in the description box below as well. And with that being said, I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, guys, and have a great day. Peace.